We've been talking for a while, we got the whole day, and yeah, people are sharing. And it's amazing how the Lord has even used some of the same scriptures. Uh, we started off this morning, this morning with Steve shared Isaiah 49, verse 22. If you guys take a look for that in my message, Isaiah 49, verse 22 was mentioned. In Howard's message, Isaiah 49, verse 22. And it, it says that basically the nations will carry the Jewish children back to the land of Israel in their arms, their bosom, and on their shoulders. So it's a very lofty cause. But we have to realize at the same time that for any Jewish person that's in the United States, they're going to leave behind their community, everyone they know, to go to a land that's far away and completely different. When I arrived in Israel for my first trip in 2018, I came back and I realized how much it's different, but I also realized how much some of it's the same. Some of the same prejudices exist there. Some of the same drug problems and alcohol problems exist there. So by no means is it a perfect fairy tale place to go. But the Lord has called the people to come back to their home. <laughs> I'm going to share this with you. I like to garden. And in that gardening in 2015, I decided to get some seeds. And they were cucumber seeds. Okay. I mean, it's not the special it's cucumber seeds, right? But they're from Israel. And so I planted them here in my garden here in Charlotte. And out of, I probably planted 30 seeds, six plants came up. Okay? Out of those six plants, seeds that came from Israel, I got 266 pounds of cucumbers that I sold at the farm. So there's a blessing. There's a blessing. When you bless those that are in Israel, you bless the Lord's people that blessing rebounds to us. For me, it was a plethora of cucumbers. So, but I just want to share that and encourage you that. As you're here, open your hearts, open your minds. Listen to what's being shared because it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, I met Pastor Kokeb, Rabbi Kokeb, that spoke earlier, and I met him in 2018 in the trip to Israel. So you don't know who the Lord's gonna connect you with. Maybe you're here to connect with somebody, so. I'm just going to hand it back over to Steve now, and uh, show him up here. Yeah, <laughs> well, I want to introduce someone very special, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy Harding. Yeah. We've known each other for about 12 years, something like that. When I was with Mary Bates' Seagull Vision for Israel, uh, we connected at a conference. Or was it in Israel? I'm not sure. Via Bible. Anyway, Kathy is the founder and director of Highway to Zion here in the Charlotte area. She hosts uh, bi weekly sessions, Saturday afternoons, and she used to do a lot of assemblies, which would bring in guest speakers, and we had the opportunity to go to worship. I'm prior to that or part of that. She has a passionate heart for the Lord. If you read her book, if you read her uh, emails that she sends out, it's, uh, you can just tell it's coming from a heart that if it could explode, it would explode for the love of the Lord. So, Kathy Hart. Steve has always validated me, and I praise the Lord for it. Did anybody brag on Steve yet? But he has organized so many conferences. <laughs> the man knows what he's doing, and the Lord's gifted him, and he continues to expand everything God's given him. So I love Steve Martin. I love Lori, too. They have just been great friends. So I'm up here tonight to welcome all of you, Shalom Shalom, and to usher in the time which is so my heart, and 
This is a segment of Aliyah that those of you who are deep worshipers already know that there's a sound rising up inside of you because it's a shofar that's internal. And you know that God is doing something amazing in the earth and that you get to be part of it. I just praise Him for that. And as they say in the South, we're fixing to start our worship. And I want to thank Scott Dawson and the uh, Strength for Israel worship team who will be leading us tonight. And I want to welcome Teresa Gardner and the Zion Center for Worship and the Arts Dancers. Linda Sloan, too. Thank you, Linda, for being here. And I want to tell you just a little bit about Teresa because I've known her for close to 40 years. And um, she's excellent in all of her ways in terms of knowing how to minister in worship and physical expression. You know, the Lord said that we're to love Him with all our heart and soul and mind and our strength with our bodies. So this is something some of us have never done. If you've never done it, it's time to do it. Even if it's dancing in your kitchen, because He deserves that kind of worship, that kind of giving everything that you've got to Him. And Isaiah chapter 40, I think it's verses 3 through 5, it speaks of building up a highway. It says to build up this highway, and that the mountains are going to be brought down and the valleys are going to be raised up. And this building up of the highway is to welcome the King of glory. And then in Isaiah 62, in verse 10, it says the same thing to build up the highway. But this time is to build it up for the people. Build up the highway for the Jewish people to return home. It says, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations. So this is what we're about. You know, all priests are Levites, right? But not all Levites are priests. The sons of Zadok went into the holy place to minister at the altar, and they had a special connection with the Lord. And all of us that are on this glorious uh, way of, of the Spirit in these last days, I believe are called to this deep worship unto the Lord. We, we have this altar that didn't exist before Yeshua came. So we are to minister and to praise Him at this altar. I want to ask the Shofar Sanders if they would come back up, please. Carol, Asad, Muhammad, Indira. This is going to be a little bit different from what we're used to. Is the fourth shuffle sounder out there somewhere holding back? <laughs> I'm thinking four corners of the earth. The north, the south, the east, the west. Um, if you will, when you study the Gospels, when um, we read about how the Lord's going to gather his people, can we be looking at all of out there too? Gathering them from the north, the south, the east, the west. People that sound the shofar have a calling on their lives. It's a prophetic sound. And what I would like to do, I would like you to stand, please. And I want you to just, just let the Lord raise up the sound of the shofar that's inside of you. Because he's given you something very special for these last days. I'm going to pray a prayer of consecration, and I'm going to borrow from my precious brother, Peter Wins, and ask you to, to place your hand on your heart or your head or somewhere, <laughs> because the priests consecrate themselves to God. You present your body 
a living sacrifice to God. Lord, I just ask you, please receive us, Bishop Yeshua, in Jesus' name. Lord, we come to you. We just throw off everything that's hindered us, the sin that so easily entangled us, and we fix our eyes on you. We know that you are the Aleph and the Toph, that you are the beginning and the end. Lord, we praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we thank you that you have allowed us to live in these last days. Amen. I would like, Maynard, would you stand your shepherd first? <laughs>
Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. See, I will beckon to the nations. I will lift up my banner to the peoples. They will bring your sons in their arms and carry your daughters on their hips. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. At that time, I will gather you. At that time, I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says Adonai. <laughs> 